All right, this is Neon Black here showing everybody our custom dual APC setup running on one MacBook Pro using Ableton Live, of course. All right, so everything kind of revolves around four virtual decks, um, basically kind of like having two CDJs on each side of a mixer. Um, the first APC is the driver, and what it's going to do is it's going to control the four rows of clips in these four columns here and of course you've got um, volume with here the thing that we found out when using two APCs is that live is not able to distinguish two different sets of APC controls so what that means is basically that we are able to use the auto mapping function on this one and auto mapping only so there are no custom mappings on this one and this one is all custom mapping so back to the driver um, what we have on each channel each of the four channels are eight insert effects and you've got let's just get some stuff playing here all right so this is the uh, receiver by the new deal in case you care all right so first we've got just kind of your basic kind of um, chopper kind of uh, auto pan so as you can see, you get that kind of effect. Next we have a vocoder, which is adding white noise. Next we have a resonator, it adds a little pitched information, gets a little clangorous. Next we have a dual filter. One is a bandpass filter going from high to low, and the other is a Oh, remember, it's a high pass filter going from low to high. So that one's cool. Um, we also have a wacky chorus, kind of almost flanger. That's cool. Um, this one is kind of a weird phaser thing. Uh, over here we have a bit crusher. And of course you gotta have fade to gray. Alright, so like I said, we've got one of those on each of the, uh, the four channels here. Up here at the top, we are just using the four channels, so we're just using the top rows. We're using three of the sends, or A, B, and C, that we can't access from here. Since we can't map anything, what we've got those is send A is um, one type of delay, send B is a different type of delay, and send C is a reverb. Um, another thing is we have the crossfader mapped to control the dry wet between the um, send effects and the dry um, non-send audio. So let me just engage a delay here. So you can kind of start to hear that there's some some extra drumming going on. And we take it all the way over. And now we're all wet. Now we're back to dry. And okay. So now we're all wet on this side. Let's go to the effector. The effector has got the traditional DJ style EQ right here so that the driver can access it as well. Um, we've got, of course, uh, your, your uh, low, mids, and your highs. And up at the top, we've got a trim just in case anything we're pulling a loop and it sounds weird, whatever we're doing, we can adjust the the trim if we need to. Um, Alright, so we see we've got it kind of sectioned off here and uh, these are kind of just the different parts of the APC that we have. Okay, so what this section is doing here is that these 10 buttons control different effects on each of the, on send A and send B. So for example, if I turn this on, you get a different kind of color. If I turn this on, you get a different type of color and so on and so forth 
And so and then you can engage multiple ones and then you have all kinds of weird stuff. Okay. And so what these there are ten effects on each of the A and B channels. So each button is turning on an effect on the A and the B channel simultaneously. The faders below them um, all modulate, uh, they're, they're assigned to modulate different parameters on each of the effects and the different delays that are on here. Um, over here you have the delay selector, so if I take it off, we go to dry, and there's a totally different delay, back to dry, totally different delay, and same thing, these are mapped to control the A and the B channel, so this is turning off the A, the A delay 1 and B delay 1, this is turning on A delay 2 and B delay 2, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Alright, so right here we have the reverb. This is actually just controlling five different reverbs um, that we can have on or off. And so I'll go over here, do some Send C action now, and we have lovely reverb. Okay, so what now? Okay, so over here you're going to have your beat repeats. So of course I think we've got half note, quarter, and eighth and sixteenth. Um, under those we have kind of auto sends. Um, so over here he can access sends as well. Well, so this is an instant send A at 100%. You don't hear anything because B at 100%, C at 100%, and so forth. So channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Um, down here we've got filters for each channel. So let's see, you've got bandpass filter, low pass and high pass. You can sweep all of them. Um, okay, we've also got the chaos pad going. So, okay. So we've got the chaos pad and... Oh, so let me get some volume here. Oh, there we go. Maybe? I don't know. Chaos pad isn't working right now. But basically what, what it does is we've got the volume mapped right here. We've got the dry wet for the chaos pad. Um, and it's a uh, delay. It's got a delay on it already. It's also got the three uh, auto sends as we have on the other channels and beat repeats as well. Um, I think that covers just about everything. Oh, no, it doesn't. We've also got a bunch of Effectrix plugins on here. Now, we may not end up keeping these because they're kind of sketchy and you can't change tempo with them because they're constantly sampling audio. So it fucking goes crazy when you try and do that so check this out so here's just some of the cool Effectric stuff um, I forget what all we have here and then, and then like stutter stuff and then reverse of course and again, we have those on the four channels. Um, I don't think I really left out anything. I think this is a delay or a reverb freeze for the moment. So we can freeze the reverb over here. And so we've got the reverb. And I think actually holding it over there freezes it anyway. Oh, there it goes. All right, I think that about covers it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. And yeah, keep rocking.